great white sharks. Is there any sea beast so feared by humans? Great whites like these here off the coast of South Africa in an area called False Bay can reach 20 feet in length and weigh up to 5,000 pounds. That's more than a pickup truck, but slightly less than a luxury SUV. Add this to the fact that great whites can sprint through the water at speeds up to 43 miles per hour, and it's no wonder we're afraid of sharks. But should we be? I mean, let's face it, they have great vision, they're curious like cats, and they love to taste things that get their attention. But many scientists believe they don't like to eat humans. They feel about humans the way most humans feel about lima beans. There's something to eat out of desperation. The fact is, great whites sometimes taste humans for the same reason they taste other things like motors or boats. Their ampullae of Lorenzini prompt them to taste it, of course. The ampullae of Lorenzini are gel-filled electroreceptors found all around the shark's snout and head. That's these smaller pores you see here. These receptors are extremely sensitive to electrical discharges, even as small as 0.005 microvolts. That means anything that gives off the tiniest electrical charge has to be checked out, including all living creatures in the sea. Forget humans and motorboats. If you want to see what great white sharks flip over, literally, let's talk about seals. We know that some whale species engage in what's called breaching, leaping out of the water. But did you know great white sharks can breach as well? Look at these false bay great whites put on a show as they go after a seal decoy being pulled by a boat. If humans are lima beans to sharks, then seals are a double hot fudge ice cream sundae with three cherries on top. Luckily, we're, um, uh, lima beans? <laughs>